Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space, and I'm just coming on with a Mission Inspiration. Um, if you haven't heard of Mission Inspiration before, it's an eight-step process to make a journal page, and you follow the steps, and I'll tell you the prompts as I'm going along and explain my page. There is a Facebook group, I'll link it below, called Mission Inspiration, run by Mike Deacon, um, a UK um, mixed media artist. So I'm working in my altered um, novel, so the altered novel is quite thin pages, so I've stuck four pages together and removed about half the book and tearing out the pages. Um, and the piece of tape you saw down the spine is a piece of brown tape I got at Daiso, and it just helps the pages stick together and not come apart. So just catching up there, I just coated it with gesso because I didn't really want the words to be prominent on this page. So the actual first step, we're just starting the first step of the mission, so it's add texture paste to your page. So it's a quite a general they're quite general prompts, so you can interpret them different ways. You colour the texture page, you could do it white. I was adding it through a white stencil, and I'm not sure what I've gone to do. Oh, I'm back. I must have been drying the texture paste. So I gave it a bit of a dry. The stencil I was using, I think it's a deco art stencil. It's one I got in a kit club a couple of years ago. The circles. You'll see the circles um, more prominent in a moment. Um, Second prompt was add a color with add color with paint or spray. Now each month Mike Deacon puts out three suggested colors. That so was red, teal, and black this month. Now you don't necessarily have to use those three colors. You can use any colors you want. Um, so add color with paint. So I my focal point later on is like a C. So I'm trying to create a C. So I sort of picked three paint colors that were three shades of blue and trying to sort of um, sponge them on and paint them on to look like a C. So I sort of got what I was wanting to achieve. So just giving that a dry. You'll notice I'm actually using a hair dryer. It's not my usual drying, um, not my usually prefer to dry my pages with because it does blow air and blows everything off my desk. Um, I usually prefer a heat gun, but this video was filmed after one of my heat guns actually caught fire and before I found my other one. So this was this is Mission Inspiration February. I thought I did a voiceover for this one, but I couldn't find it. So here we are doing it again. So step three was glue fragments of book or music text. So I decided to rip up very small fragments, as I do some days. I'm in the mood to do really small stuff. So just gluing them in random places. What I did just before that is I just had a bit of white paint. It's still in step two, and I was trying to highlight the circles. You can see on the bottom right-hand corner, if my hand and shadow would get out of the way, um, you can sort of see the circle of circles that was done with the texture paste. So I just tried to highlight that a bit. So we're just gluing on the book text fragments. So you can tear your fragments, you can punch them, you can cut them up with scissors, you can basically add them any way you like. I love Mission Inspiration because it gives you a bit of a guide of what you're going to do on your page, but it's really vague, so you can interpret it many, many different ways. And often my daughter and I will sit and do a page, and it, we're following the same eight steps, but we come out with totally different pages. So I just keep adding these little bits of fragments. I have sped this up three times, so this actually took me quite a while to film and make because I decided to, um, yeah, add tiny, tiny little bits. So I'm adding um, and sealing these well with Mod Podge. So this is a gloss. It's supposed to be a matte Mod Podge, but it's got a bit of gloss in it. Um, I prefer matte finishes, but I tend to take anything that's on special. If the gloss is on special and really cheap, I'll grab it if there's no matte available. There goes the lovely hair dryer again, blowing bits and papers everywhere. But you might do. You can also let it dry naturally too. Oh wow, I must have missed missed turning the camera back on. So these circles, so glue step four is glue pattern paper shapes. So I obviously missed a bit of the film. I hope I haven't put it in the wrong order. Um, because they magically appeared on the page. So I punched some circles from some paper. Just trying to see if what sort of paper it is. It could be a jelly print or it could be pattern paper. And the circle rings, I've actually got a half inch circle punch and a one inch circle punch. And I punch the smaller circle first and then I can go in and punch the bigger circle and you get the rings. And I love how they're offset. 
So I do that a lot. And they look really cute on the um, journal pages or cards or scrapbook pages as well. So that's a hint, a way to use your punches more. You can punch little shapes and then punch big shapes. Oh, you have to excuse my yawning. Um, okay, I did this a bit out of order. I got a bit carried away. Um, while I had the glue out, <laughs> I decided to add my focal point, which is actually um, step six. It says add a focal image or two or three. So these are actually wallpaper images I picked up in an op shop a while ago. So it's a Noah's Ark. You'll see it in a minute. It's got a bit of glue over it, so it's a bit hard to see. It's Noah's Ark. And then in front of Noah's Ark, I've actually got two sets of two, I believe they're warruses, some sort of sea creature. There we go. And now I go back and this says, step five is add hand journaling, scribbling or quote. I decided to stick the focal point on while I was gluing because that was easier. And I wrote, I think I wrote families. Oh, families always pull together in sort of a scripty, scribbly font. Um, I'm trying to love my handwriting more. So getting up to step seven was add washi tape or paper strips. So I added some blue. I really didn't want to add much more to the page as in colours. So I picked a really light blue washi tape. And always with my washi tape, I always go under it and over with a matte gel medium or a Mod Podge or a glue because it just comes off, especially if you're sticking it over Mod Podge. And the last step, step eight, was splatter with paint or gesso. So I am just made up some paint off to the side and was just splattering that. Then I decided it needed a border, so I decided to trace around the black and just border the page. It wasn't a step, but you can certainly add stuff at the end. So here's a bit of a quick look. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.